Uh, that is a clip from the One Note Man, which tells the story of a musician who's caught between staying in his comfort zone and, well, stepping out of his comfort zone and perhaps changing his life forever. And who knows, maybe the director of this short film's life was changed forever making this, but I'm glad George is with us now. Good morning, George. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm great. Thank you. I am so excited to talk about this. I mean, very endearing, even from the clip that we just saw there. And, and you and I had the pleasure of talking before we got started about, I don't want to say the magic. I hope that's not cliche, but there is something to telling a story and doing short films that a lot of time we don't hear about, you know, and advertisements and things of that nature. However, it has its challenges. And of course, it has its allure. What is it for you, especially with the One Note Man? Well, for me, I identify with this guy because when we meet him, he's lost his spark. You know, he's, he's, he, he finds himself complacent in his routine uh, because of his loss. Um, and maybe all of us have been in that position at some point, you know, with our work or well, God knows what. Um, and so he's, he's at a place where he's just caught up in this, you know, routine and this opportunity comes, you know, his life, he, he sees something, he sees a, a woman he likes, he hears the music he loves and he falls in love and, you know, it's a calling. What, what is he going to do? Is he going to take that brave step into the unknown? How's he going to handle it? Um, and I think that's a great question for everybody. And ultimately the film is about, you know, taking that step into the unknown and 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 walking out outside our comfort zone and and inviting that fear into our lives, um, which I personally like. I like fear. I like to be you know in the ocean where my my feet don't quite touch the the bottom. So the film asks this question. So it's you know, what's he going to do? How's he going to handle it? And uh, is he going to be a better man? Um, after this uh, journey. Just even seeing that clip right there of when he hears the note from the woman. I mean, I want to point out too, there is no dialogue in this. You know, you're touching upon something great here. Um, it, it's the golden rule really in, in storytelling. If you can show it, don't say it, right? Um, and it's the basis of all great cinematic moments. I mean, if I think of the moments in cinema, which I love and have stayed with me forever, they are almost all movie moments that are purely visual without any dialogue, like the beginning of 2001. Um, you know, uh, the, the moment the Bedouin charges against the Sea of Turks in Lawrence of Arabia. Um, the, the first 10 minutes, the first five minutes of, of Up, the Pixar film. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which made me cry. And it's phenomenal storytelling with yes. no dialogue. Yeah. So, so, yes, it's absolutely, um, you know, I always try to show it before I say it. And with this story, it was a perfect opportunity to tell an entire story from beginning to end, well, beginning, middle, and an end with no dialogue. And I've never done that before. So as I was writing it, I was thinking, how long can I stretch it? OK, I'm at page five. Can I go to page six without a single line? And, you know, we got to 21 minutes without a single line spoken, um, which, you know, I'm really proud of. Yeah, I, I would say so. And George, I'm curious now for the trajectory of your career, are you going to continue down this path, the challenge or, <laughs> or are you, I know, because I know you're busy right now directing a series over in the UK, aren't you? <laughs> That's it. I'll never use dialogue again. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, you know what? I'm actually working on the feature version, feature film version of the short film right now. So I am, oh. it, it is it is a daunting task, but you know, could we push it to 90 minutes? Okay, well, you know what? I guarantee you can, George, in just my few minutes talking with you. Do me a favor, share with folks how they too can check out the One Note Man before we say goodbye. Well, we've got a couple of distributors at the moment interested in buying the film, which is phenomenal. Short oh, films gosh. don't have a market, so we're in this most incredibly uh, grateful position to have two distributors interested. We are not too quick to make decisions quite yet. We okay. are a workers' race, so we want to make sure that we, um, you know, 
put our, all our efforts into this, um, into campaigning for the Oscars. And uh, we will be making uh, that decision very soon. So hopefully on a very popular platform um, near you very soon. Good, good tease, good luck, of course, in the upcoming awards season. I'm so glad we got to catch up with you today. One more time, the One Note Man. Make sure to check it out for yourself when you can. Thank you.